Good morning. Time for pick of the morning. Let's go starting off in Montecito. What a great photo. This is one of my favorites. Look at this cute little pug out enjoying the beautiful weather we saw this weekend. Thank you so much for sending that in via Twitter. You get a shout out. And our second one comes from our friends up in the Santa Inez Valley. Peter Lindfoot sent in this photo. And this is him and his girls, his wife and kids, having a great time again out enjoying the beautiful weather. So if you want to see your name in your city up here, shoot me an email, text, or tweet, and I will try to get you featured on the air during the work week. Beautiful morning, though, in Ojai Hospitality Group sending in that beautiful live shop, but not so much in Santa Barbara. We are seeing some fog, but as John was mentioning, the good news is it's staying away from the coast right now, and it's just out in the water, but as we get into the day, these visitabilities will improve, although right now it's down in the Santa Ynez, Santa Maria Valley, so if you're heading on the 101 North, aside from this little break right here, you may run into some issues with that fog so keep those lights on this morning as you head north and south and if you come into an area of fog use those low beams and slow down we're seeing those clouds almost everywhere up and down the coast now as we get into the day we are going to start to see this burn off the south coast into Oxnard Ventura looking great oh hi as well you're going to see sunny skies as we get into the day but the central coast notice a little bit of clouds hugging the coast the beaches that's because of that onshore flow that we are seeing and that's going to push clouds even further inland as we get overnight into early tomorrow morning so that may impact your commute tomorrow morning as well here's your forecast we're going to see 70s on the south coast it's going to be a little bit cooler at the beaches inland we're going to find those upper 70s and that's the same story for san luis obispo county 80 in paso robles while well, big difference at cambria 62 much cooler there and that's going to be the same pattern for us in ventura and oxnard in the low 70s and then you go inland to the valleys ojai and santa paula will be much warmer today let's take a look at your week forecast. Here's what you can expect as you get into the work week. We're going to see those temperatures in the mid-70s, and by this weekend, Santa Barbara, you're going to be back into those 80-degree temperatures. Santa Maria, same thing for you. Uh, not 80s, but still upper 70s for the weekend, so we start off in the 60s, but by this weekend, we'll be into the 70s. Your seven-day forecast for San Luis Obispo is cool for the next couple of days, especially with that morning fog and then that afternoon sun. That June gloom pattern is going to set up for us as we get toward the weekend, and then you're eventually going to be right around 80 degrees on Friday and 82 by Saturday. Santa Inez Valley, you'll see those 70s and 80s, and you're just going to be pretty warm the entire work week with our overnight lows in the 40s and the 50s. And for the five cities, if you are in the Pismo Beach area, you'll see those temperatures in the 60s. 60s and then close.